we'll get started in Sukhasana. So come on down, find a seat. <clears throat> Cross your legs at your shins. Take your time to settle in. We'll be here for a little while. So no rush if you'd like to sit on something, a pillow, a block, a blanket, go for it. You might roll your shoulders back, move your neck and head around, whatever tiny movements you need to feel comfortable in stillness eventually. Grow taller through your spine, soften your shoulders, relax your face and close your eyes. Take these first few moments to come into this body. Come into this moment. And come into each and every new breath you find here. Today we're going to start with a pranayama practice called Samavriti Pranayama. Now, to start, pranayama is its own little category of practice. It's breath work, literally translating to prana, meaning vital life force or energy, which rides on our breath, and yama, which means to gain control. So in pranayama practice, the goal is to gain control of our breath, which in turn gives us control of that vital life force energy that rides on our breath, prana. There are many types of pranayama. Samavriti is just one of many. And sama translates to mean same. Vritti is the mental fluctuations of the mind. So Samavriti Pranayama is equal mental fluctuations breathing. What this means is we use a four part breath and each part is the same length. So sometimes this is referred to as box breathing where all four sides are equal, all four parts of the breath are equal. Today, we'll inhale for a count of four, hold our breath for a count of four, exhale for a count of four, and hold our breath for a count of four. The moments of retention between the inhales and the exhales are called kumbhaka. Samavritti is used to calm and balance the mind and body. It helps slow down the heart rate and reduce mental stress and worry. It helps to reduce distractions and improve focus. With or without even knowing it, we can become blocked physically and or emotionally and inhibit our flow of breath and prana. Pranayama practices are great tools to unblock block ourselves and free our prana. So let's give this one a try, Samavriti Pranayama. Equal parts, same length breathing. I want you to empty your lungs, taking a big exhale all the way out. Inhale for a count of four, three, two, one. Pause and hold for four, three, two, one. Empty exhale, four, three, two, one. One, pause and hold. Three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold. Three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold. Three, two, Three more rounds. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold. Three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold. Three, 
two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold. Three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two. Last round. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, hold. Three, two, one. Empty, exhale. Three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. On your next breath in, just breathe naturally. Go at your own pace, in and out, without the holds at the top or bottom. And just notice any effects, any new sensations throughout your body, your mind, energetically. Know that just like our physical practice, pranayama is a practice as well. So if at any point you found that challenging or you became anxious or it was difficult, that's okay. It just takes practice, expanding and strengthening our lungs. And if it was challenging, if you want to take this on your own, you can always shorten the breath count or lengthen it. Draw your hands to your heart. Bow your forehead to your heart. Release your hands, gently open your eyes. And as you're ready, make your way onto all fours. Bring your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, tuck and spread your toes. Let's take a little wrist stretch here. I want you to flip your right fingers back to face your right knee, giving that wrist a little stretch. Same thing on the left. Left fingers flip back to face left knee, and then come back to neutral with that right hand, back to neutral with that left hand. Keep that going, flipping right, flipping left, back to normal, right and left. A couple times, just getting into those wrists. You can let your hips and body kind of sway with that rhythm, kneading the floor with your hands. And then yogi's choice, as we move towards cow and cat, you can either bring your hands back to neutral or maybe keep those hands flipped. We'll take a round of cow and cat. On an inhale, flip your sit bones to the ceiling. Pull your heart forward and up. As you exhale, cat, tuck your tail, lift your belly, push into your hands, spread between your shoulder blades, drop your head. Again, inhale, wave through your spine, cow. Exhale, cat, tailbone and top of head come closer together. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. From here, inhale to a flat back, a neutral spine, option to keep those wrists flipped. We're going to take three circles to the right. Move your head and hips to the right. Lift top of head and hips towards the ceiling, find cow. Head and hips circle left, and then find that cat shape. Tailbone tucks, head drops. Keep circling around to the right. You might close your eyes and just make it feel good. Let's take one more to the right. Mobilizing through hips and shoulders and spine. Once you finish that last circle, reverse. Three circles left. Stay connected to your breath as you start to move. Let's take one more round to the left. And once you come back to center, just reset on all fours. Find a flat back. Flip your hands back to neutral. 
And then I want you to tempt up onto your fingertips. Now we're gonna strengthen those wrists a little bit. Push into your fingers, zip your belly in, step back to plank position on those fingers. If this is too much, you can always flatten out your palms. Tuck your tailbone to your heels, zip your belly in. Keep pressing the floor away with your fingers, long, strong arms. Breathe here for three, two, one, adding a little challenge. Right leg floats off the floor for three. Keep pressing away with those fingers. Two, one, right foot land, switch and hover that left leg for three, two, one, lower that left foot, knees to the floor, nice. Walk your hands back towards your knees. As you come to stand on your knees, give me a big arm circle up towards the ceiling, back and around. Gorgeous. And then turn that into three big shoulder rolls back. Three, two. On this last one, bring your hands to the top of your buttocks, flesh. Setting up for an easy ustrasana, keep those shoulders rolling back, elbows squeeze in towards each other. Use your hands to press your hips forward slightly, lift your heart and gaze to the ceiling. Just nice and easy, still warming up. Three big breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two, hips moving forward, heart lifting to the sky. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, slowly rise, sit on your heels, slide your hands forward, downward dog. Give your legs a little paddle and down dog. Shake out your head. Still mobilizing our joints, body, breath. When you're ready, walk your feet all the way up to your hands. Open your feet hip width apart, soften your knees, give your head and shoulders a little shake. Let's keep our left fingers on the floor, bend your left knee, stretch that right leg a little longer, inhale, reach your right arm to the ceiling, forward fold twist. On an exhale, release. Changing sides, soften your right knee, lengthen more through that left leg, right fingers stay down. Inhale, left arm reaches to the sky, forward fold twist. Exhale, release, back to center. Inhale, half lift, bring your fingers to your shins. Push off your shins, lengthen the top of your head to the front of your space. Take a little more weight into your toes. Create some space in those hip creases as you peer over the top edge of your mat. Take a big breath into the length of your spine. Nice. On an exhale, forward fold. Let's flow through that again. Soften your left knee. Inhale, right arm up. Forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Soften your right knee. Inhale, left arm up. Forward fold, twist. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins. Lengthen top of head forward, long spine. Exhale, fold and let it go. Soften your knees and roll all the way up to stand. Once you arrive, take a couple shoulder rolls back. Bring your big toes to touch at the top of your mat, hands to heart center. Have a moment here, soft or closed eyes. Coming back to your breath. I want you to imagine that every breath you take is like a love letter to the world. Bow your forehead to your heart. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Lift your heart, press your palms. Exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion, knuckles drive down, heart lifts high, keep that chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to. Squeeze your shoulder blades together to widen across your chest. Drop your head, you might even work your forehead a little closer to your chin, uh, to your shins to find more length along the back of your neck. Take a big breath in. 
On an exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back into a lunge. Step your left leg back to meet it. Plank position. Push the floor away with your hands. Tuck your tailbone to your heels. Belly draws in and up. Take a breath in. Exhale, halfway down. Chaturanga, listen closely. Inhale, right back up to plank. Yes, exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Untuck your toes, roll your shoulders back. Inhale, lift baby cobra, find your back muscles. Push into your hands, exhale, wave back into child's pose. Start to walk your hands towards your knees. Come up to stand on your knees, hands to the top of your buttocks, flesh. Find that ustrasana again, hips press forward. Heart lifts, gaze lifts, take a full breath in. Exhale, sit on your heels, hands forward, downward facing dog. One big inhale, one big exhale. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, seal your palms. Exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together to widen your chest. Maybe work that forehead closer to your shins. Take a full breath in. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step your left foot back into a lunge. Right leg steps back to meet it, plank position. Reach out your heels, reach out the top of your head. Push the floor away with your hands, zip your belly in, inhale, prepare. Exhale, bend those elbows straight back, chaturanga. Inhale, press right back up to plank. You can always use your knees on the floor if you need to. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Untuck your toes, shoulders roll back. Inhale, baby cobra. Push into your hands, exhale, wave back into child's pose. Walk your hands towards your knees. Come to stand on your knees. Bring your hands to the top of your buttocks flesh, ustrasana, hips forward, elbows in towards each other, heart open. Take a big inhale. Exhale, sit on your heels. Hands forward, downward facing dog. We'll stay here for one breath in. And full breath out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, press your palms. Exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Big breath into your collarbones, spread wide. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back, left foot back to meet it, plank position. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, halfway down, taking that push up. Inhale, press right back up to plank. Exhale, slowly lower to the floor. Untuck your toes, roll your shoulders back, inhale, lift baby cobra. Push into your hands, exhale, wave back into child's pose. Walk your hands towards your knees, come to stand on your knees. Hands to the top of your buttocks flesh. Send your hips forward, heart to the ceiling, option to stay here. Or maybe this time, hands reach back for your heels. Wherever you are, take one more breath in. Exhale, sit on your heels, hands forward, downward dog, take your time. Staying in down dog for a breath cycle, fill up as you breathe in, empty as you exhale. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward, 
Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold last time. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left foot back into a lunge. Right leg steps back to meet at plank position. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, chaturanga, strong abdominals. Inhale, press right back up to plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor and tuck your toes, roll your shoulders back. Inhale, lift baby cobra. Push into your hands, exhale, wave back. Child's pose. Walk your hands towards your knees. Come all the way up to stand on your knees. Hands to the top of your buttocks, flesh. Maybe reach back for those heels. Hips press forward. Heart lifts. Take one big breath in. And on an exhale, slowly he sit back to your heels, hands forward, downward dog. We'll stay in down dog for that one breath. Inhale, fill up. Big exhale. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, press your palms. Exhale, hands to your heart. Soften or close your eyes. Take a moment here, feel your feet on the earth. Let that energy rebound up through your knees, your hips, your belly, your heart, the top of your head. Soften down the back line of your body, soft shoulders. Let your tailbone lengthen towards your heels. Allow your eyes to crack open if they're closed. Vrikshasana tree pose on the left. Give your left knee a little squeeze. And when you're ready, work that left foot either to your inner right thigh or right calf. Hands to heart center. Just having a moment here to find a little bit of calm. Returning to your breath, bringing awareness back to your prana, your energy that rides on your breath. Using both our breath practice and our physical flow to unblock and free our prana. We're here for three, two, one. Release your left foot next to your right. As you do, inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Catch left wrist with right hand. Exhale, side bend right. Anchor through your left foot. Press your hips left and pull that left arm long. Try and keep your shoulders soft away from your ears. Breathe for three, two, one, inhale, center. Exhale, release your arms. Hug that right knee into your chest and we'll set up for Vrikshasana on the right. Right foot to inner left thigh or left calf. Hands to heart center. Just a moment here to balance our body, our breath, our energy. And you say stay soft in your face. Easy jaw, easy eyes. We're here for three, two, one. Release your right foot next to your left. As you do, inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Catch right wrist with left hand. Exhale, side bend left. Anchor through your right foot, press your hips right. As you pull that right arm longer and stretch, stay soft in your shoulders. Breathe for three, two, one. Inhale back through center. Exhale, release Tadasana, hands to your heart. Surya Namaskara B. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. 
Exhale, open twist right, right arm back, left arm forward, turn your gaze back towards that right thumb. Inhale, Utkatasana, arms overhead, stay low in your hips. Exhale, open twist left, left arm back, right arm forward, work that gaze towards your left thumb. Inhale, Utkatasana, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, nice. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, push the floor away with your hands and feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky, melt your left heel to the floor. Exhale, scorpion dog, open your right hip, bend your right knee deeply. Try and stay reaching through that left heel as you poke your right knee to the sky. Push through both hands, so maybe add a little more push into that right hand especially. Big breath in, exhale, right knee, left elbow across your body. Use your abdominals. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot that right leg straight up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Push into your feet to rise, inhale, high lunge, reach up. Exhale, open, twist right, scissor your inner thighs together as you open your arms, right arm back, left arm forward. Try and spin your torso around, stay soft through your shoulders and vertical through your spine. So add a little more lift through the top of your head as you rotate around to the right. Inhale, front lunge, right arm reaches forward to match your left. Just a little transitional move there. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Seal your back heel down. Reach wide through your arms. Let your inner right knee move forward as that outer right hip draws back. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, extended side angle. Let's start with our right forearm on our right thigh and just reach that left arm to the ceiling. Push your right knee open with that right arm now. Keep that right hip drawing back as you rotate your torso up towards the ceiling. Option to stay here or maybe slide that right hand to the inside of your right foot. Press down and out through your feet, draw your belly in. Option to stay here or turn your left palm to face the front of the room and cast that left arm all the way overhead. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Keep your right knee bent. Inhale all the way up into reverse warrior. Right arm reaches back. Right shin continues to move forward. I want you to keep reaching through those right fingertips now and stretch your right leg straight, reverse triangle. Can you get even longer through your right side? Stay soft in your shoulders. Try and tilt your right hip crease up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Exhale, triangle. Hip shift back. Legs stay long as that right hand lands to your right shin. Spinning your torso up towards the ceiling again. Press down and out through your feet. Get longer out the top of your head. Big reach to those left fingers as you breathe in. Exhale, pyramid. Left hand lands. I want you to turn those left toes forward and you might need to hop that left foot in a little bit. Pull your outer right hip back. Reach your heart towards your right toes and gently fold over your right leg. Soft shoulders. Stay heavy down and out through that back heel, even if it doesn't touch. One more full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, half lift. Come on, your fingertips lengthen your spine. Exhale, low lunge, hop your back foot back and bend your front knee deeply. Inhale, low lunge, twist, right arm to the sky. Exhale, wild thing, big transition. Push into your left hand, step your right toes behind your left leg. Reach your right arm to the front of your space. Send your hips to the sky. Take a big breath in, another big transition. Exhale, chaturanga, find your flow, take your time. Inhale, up dog, stretch. Exhale, downward facing dog for a little pause. Come home, reset, refocus. 
Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Melt that right heel to the floor. Exhale, scorpion dog, open your left hip, bend your left knee deeply. As you reach down through that right heel, poke that left knee a little higher. Try and press through both hands evenly, so maybe a little more push into that left hand to even out. Take a full breath in. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, all the way across your body. Give it a squeeze. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot your left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Pushing down to rise, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist left, scissor your inner thighs together. Stay stable in your hips and legs as you spin around to the left. Soft shoulders, find a little more lift through the top of your head. Keep that length as you rotate, belly, heart, gaze around. Inhale, front lunge, left arm reaches forward, just a little transition. Exhale, warrior two, slice that right arm open, seal your back foot down. Good, keep bending through that front knee, inner left knee moving forward, outer left hip drawing back. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, extended side angle. Let's start with that left arm to your left thigh, right arm to the sky, keeping lots of space in that left side body. Push your left knee open with your left elbow. Let that left hip continue to draw back as you push through your back foot. Maybe this is you. Maybe left hand slides to the inside of your left foot. That right arm can stay there or turn your right palm to the front of your space and cast that right arm overhead, lengthening along that right hip, spinning your left ribs, heart and gaze to the ceiling. Big breath in, big breath out. Keep that front knee bent, inhale, reverse warrior. Left arm reaches up and back, keep moving that left shin to the front of the room. Good, long left side. Keep reaching through those left fingers. Let's get even longer. Start to stretch your left leg straight, reverse triangle. Try and tilt your left hip crease to the ceiling. Stay soft in your shoulders as you stretch and reach. Take a big inhale. Exhale, triangle. Hip shift back, left hand lands to left shin, right arm to the sky. Push down and out through your feet here to lengthen out the top of your head and work that rotation in your torso again, around and up towards the ceiling. Big inhale. Exhale, pyramid, right hand lands. Turn those right toes forward. You might need to hop that right foot in a little. Pull your outer left hip back. Heart reaches towards your left toes and then fold. Keep reaching through that back heel, heavier head and shoulders. Let's take one more breath in, really use this breath. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. Inhale, half lift, rise to your fingers, gaze forward. Exhale, low lunge, hop your back toes back, bend your front knee. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm to the sky. Exhale, wild thing, big transition. Push into your right hand, land your left toes behind your right leg. Reach your left arm to the front of the room. Press your hips to the sky. Take a big breath in, here we go. Exhale, chaturanga, take your time. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Come home, breathe. Always coming back to that breath. Considering that energy, that prana riding on our breath. As we move our breath, we're also moving that energy. As we unblock our physical body, we're freeing that energy. Let's smooth out our flow. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, open twist right, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, Utkatasana, stay low, arms high. Exhale, open twist left. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Melt your left heel to the floor. Exhale, scorpion dog. Open your hip, bend your knee. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, right knee, left elbow across your body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Shoot your right leg straight up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge, reach up. Exhale, open twist right, right arm back, left arm forward, squeeze those inner thighs together. Inhale, front lunge, right arm reaches forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, extended side angle, any version you'd like. Inhale, reverse warrior, front knee stays bent. Reach that right arm up and back. Keep reaching through those right fingers now. Slowly stretch that right leg straight. Reverse triangle. Inhale there. Exhale, triangle. Right hand down, left arm high. Take a breath in here. Exhale, pyramid, left hand down. Turn those left toes in and hop forward slightly. Fold your torso over that front thigh. Let's stay for one big breath in. Soften even more as you exhale. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, low lunge, hop that back foot back. Inhale, low lunge, twist, right arm to the sky. Exhale, wild thing, right toes land behind you. Press your hips high, reach that right arm to the front of your space. Big inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, flush it out. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Straight away, inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, scorpion dog, open your hip and your knee. Take a breath in. Exhale, left knee, right elbow across your body. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot that left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Exhale, open twist, left. Inhale, front lunge, left arm forward. Exhale, warrior two, right arm back. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, any version of extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior, front knee stays bent. Keep reaching through those left fingertips. Start to stretch that left leg straight, reverse triangle. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, triangle, gorgeous. Reach through those right fingers, take a breath in here. Exhale, pyramid, right hand down, turn those right toes forward. Fold over that front thigh. Easy, inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, half lift, come to your fingertips. Exhale, low lunge, hop those back toes back. Inhale, low lunge twist, left arm high. Exhale, wild thing, left toes land behind your right leg. Reach your left arm to the front of your space. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump. Feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold and stay. Let's slow it down a little bit. Heel to your feet, hip width apart. Soften your knees as much as you need to grab onto your big toes in yogic toe lock. Padangustasana. Press your toes into your fingers. Inhale, pull your chest forward. Pull your fingers into your toes. As you exhale, draw your torso over your thighs. Elbows bend out to the sides. Try and lift your shoulders up your back. You might give your head and neck a little shake as you start to actively reach the top of your head to the floor. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more big breath in. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. Keep your left fingers around your left big toe. Bring your right hand to your right hip. 
I want you to start to shift your weight to your right leg. You can bend your left knee as much as you need as you rise up to stand on that right leg. So maybe as you come up, that left knee is bent deeply. Maybe you start to extend that left leg any amount. Draw your left shoulder and left hip back into their sockets. Push down into your right foot, get taller out the top of your head. From here, right hand comes to the outside of that left leg anywhere it's possible maybe you catch the outside of that left foot. Left arm starts to open up, turning to the left. Continue to push into your right foot to lengthen through your spine. Breathe for three, two, one. Standing figure four, guide that left ankle across your right thigh. Bend your right knee deeply, work your hands to your heart center. Stay low in your hips. Think of your heart pulling forward and your knees pulling away from each other. Breathe for three, two, one. Left foot next to right, inhale, rise. Arms reach overhead, a nice juicy flow right here. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, big stretch. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Coming into lizard. Maybe take some rocks forwards and backwards. Loosen up through those hips a little bit. We're gonna move into airplane. If airplane is too much, you can always come right back to this position, but let's give it a try. Right hand can come to that right ankle or calf, anywhere that's helpful for you to sneak your right shoulder as far under that right leg as you can. That might be where you stay. Maybe you extend your arms like airplane wings out to the sides. Maybe you wrap your arms behind you for a bind. Keep reaching out that back heel, pull your heart forward. Breathe for three, two, one. Bring your hands to the floor inside your right foot. Really push into your hand, zip your belly in. I want you to squeeze your right knee into your right arm. From there, see if you can pick your right foot up and think of squeezing that right foot towards your right glute. This might be where you stay. Maybe you work to bend your elbows like chaturanga. You might gaze to the right, shift forward, float that back leg for three, two, one. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot that right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Left foot comes to meet it, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold and let it go. Heel to your feet, hip width apart, slowing it down. Grab onto your big toes. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Pull your fingers into your toes, exhale, fold. Let those shoulders slide up as your head lengthens down. Push down and out through your heels to lift and spread your sit bones. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one, slow down, reset. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. Keep a hold of that right big toe. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Start to shift your weight to your left leg. As you rise, you can soften through both knees and feel free to bend that right knee as much as you need to. Once you stand, really try and get tall. Work on that action first, and then maybe stretch that right leg long. Right shoulder and right hip drop back into their sockets. Now, whether that leg is straight or bent, catch that right leg anywhere you can with that left hand, maybe to the outside of your right foot. Right arm reaches behind you. Continue to lengthen, push into that bottom foot, lift through the top of your head as you rotate to the right. Breathe for three, two, 
One, standing figure four. Take your time here. Guide that right ankle to the top of your left thigh. Bend your left knee deeply. Work your hands to your heart center, forearms towards that right shin. Think of your knees pulling away from each other as your heart reaches forward. We're here for three, two, one. Now we flow. Inhale, right foot down, arms overhead, let it go. Big exhale, dive forward, gorgeous. Inhale, half lift, make it feel good as you flush it out. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. And just take a couple of rocks here. Loosen up those hips. Now you know where we're going. Keep it playful. Just give things a try. You can always take a step back if you need to. Maybe that left hand comes to your left ankle or calf and you start to work your left shoulder as far under that left leg as you can. Arms can open wide into airplane arms or maybe bind behind you. Reach out your back heel. Let your heart pull forward for three two, one, hands to the floor inside that left foot, working into hurdler's pose, Ekapada Kundin Yasana. Push into your hands, zip your belly in, squeeze that left knee into your upper left arm. Now draw your left heel away from the floor towards your left tush. This might be it. Maybe you bend your elbows like Chaturanga and gaze to the left. You might shift your weight to your fingers and float that back leg for three, Two, one, inhale, three-legged dog. Shoot that left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Right foot comes to meet it, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold and stay. Bend your knees deeply. Coming all the way into a squat, walk your hands behind you, have a seat. Soles of your feet together. Knees open wide. Sit up tall, take a breath in. And on an exhale, fold forward. You can roll out your shoulders, shake out your head. Find your breath. Slow it down. Make your way up to sit. Keep your right leg folded in, extend your left leg long, Janya Shirsasana. Sit up tall. I want you to face your left leg and then see if you can go a little beyond it. So find that twist a little more today. And as you exhale, right hand reaches for the outside of left foot or calf or thigh, wherever you can. Walk your sit bones back. Try and reach the top of your head to the floor on the outside of your left leg. So twisting as we fold. Make your way up to sit. Swap out those legs, right leg long. Left foot comes into your inner right thigh. Sit up tall, face your right leg, and then go a little bit beyond, find that twist. Left hand can grab anywhere on the outside of that right leg or foot. Walk your sit bones back. Again, think of the top of your head touching the floor on the outside of your right leg. Twisting and folding. Start to make your way back up to sit. Stretch your left leg out long to match your right. Flex your feet, sit up tall, take a breath in. Exhale and fold. You can walk your sit bones back here. 
give your shoulders, neck, and head a shake. Find some release. And re-soften over your legs. Roll all the way up to sit. Continue to roll all the way onto your back. And once you land, bend your knees. Bring your feet to the floor. We'll take two back bends today, starting with bridge all together. And then your choice for the second one, you can stick with bridge or move into full wheel. Bridge pose, Setu Bandha. Heels are in close to your tush. Feet are hip width apart. Arms alongside your body. Dig into your heels as you inhale, prepare. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, lift your hips to the sky. Interlace your hands underneath you, tuck your shoulders underneath you. Get as high up on your shoulders as you can. As you stretch your arms, see if you can push your arms into the floor, push your feet into the floor. Use that to help lift your hips even higher. Breathe for three, two, one, gently release your arms, lower your hips to the floor. Just let your knees fall in towards each other, fall and bridge. You might turn your head side to side. Take a moment, do a little body scan. See how you're feeling. You might wanna repeat that bridge or you might wanna take it a little deeper. Urdhva Dhanurasana, full wheel. Let's start to set up wherever you're going. Bring those legs hip width apart again, heels in close. For Satu Bandha, arms by your body. For Urdhva Dhanurasana, hands next to your ears. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, find that tuck of your tailbone, lift your hips. Breathe. If you're in full wheel, see if you can stretch your arms and legs a little straighter. Let your head be easy and heavy. We're here for three. Two, one, tuck your chin, slowly lower down. And this time, keeping those feet wide, let your knees just sway side to side. Come back to center with your legs. Figure four, right ankle crosses over left thigh. And grab behind your left leg or in front of your left shin. Pull your left knee in, send your right knee away. Give your chin a little tuck just to make sure the back of your neck is long. Breathe here. Half happy baby on the right. Release your hands. Catch for the outer edge of your right foot with your right hand. Pull that right knee towards the floor on the outside of your right torso. Use your left hand to push your left thigh down as you stretch your left leg long on the floor. Sole of your right foot is facing the ceiling. Big, big breaths. And squeeze your right knee into your chest. Take a breath in. Use that exhale to twist. Guide your knee over to the left. You can cactus your right arm or stretch it long. Look to the right. A great place to close your eyes. Slowly come back through center and swap out your legs. Figure four, left ankle over right thigh. Grab behind your right leg or in front of that right shin. Relax your shoulders, stay long through your neck as you pull your right knee in, send your left knee away. Can 
you come back to your breath. Half happy baby on the left, release your hands. Catch for the outer edge of your left foot with your left hand. Pull your left knee towards the outside of your torso. Use your right hand to push that right thigh down as that right leg lengthens on the floor. Sole of your left foot should be facing the ceiling. Squeeze that left leg in towards your chest. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, twist. Knee to the right, gaze to the left. Maybe you close your eyes. Slowly come back through center. Hug both knees in, arms wrap around your shins. Bring your forehead to your knees, squeeze everything in really tightly for five, four, push your mid back into your mat, three, two, release and set up for final rest. Shavasana, let those legs extend and flap open wide. Arms alongside your body, palms to the ceiling. Take any fidgets necessary to let go of any last little bit of tension or gripping. Finding that ultimate release and surrender. Book ending our practice today. We began with Samariti Pranayama, which is a breath that encourages reduction of stress, of slowing down, of calming down, of softening. And we add our final book end with Shavasana. Slowing down. Calming down, softening. Start to deepen your breath. Remembering that you are also moving energy on your breath.
Slowly pulling that energy in and around your body. Wiggle fingers, toes, wrist, ankles. Turn your head side to side. And at your own pace, start to walk your heels towards your seat to bend your knees. Roll to your right. Have a moment there, a breath there. And eventually make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes, draw your hands to your heart. And check in now, notice any new sensations, any shift in energy. If you want to conquer the anxiety of life, live in the moment, live in the breath. Amit Ray. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste.